All right, so this is the current trade I'm in. This is the Aussie franc. Uh, I'm trading on the H1 time frame, and this is a setup which I took over here. You can see this was the uh, trigger candle. It's a bullish pin bar. So the moment it appeared, I put my buy order, right, just above the high of the candle. All right, two pips above the high of the candle plus the slight spread. So it's about three pips above the high of the candle and stop loss. Uh, usually three pips below the low of the candle, but I pulled the stop loss a bit lower, so I've got at least roughly about 1.5 uh, ATR. Okay, so this is my one hour distance in this case, and I'm targeting for this particular trade about 1.4 hour. And you can see that it actually almost hit my profit target, missed by a fraction of a pip and now it's coming back down again. So, you know, trading's like that. You can't get frustrated and you can't say, oh, done, right? No worries, I just leave it. And usually when I'm trading, I adopt a fire and forget approach, right? Just leave it and let it hit the profit target or let it go back and hit the stop loss, right? So I take each trade as a random outcome. I don't get emotionally affected. The only reason I'm looking at it is because I'm uh, showing it as an example in this tutorial. But usually in my trading, I don't look at it. So I don't get upset when I see that it, you know, it touched my profit target and it did not trigger because it missed by just one pip and it's going back down. It's fine, right? That's that's life, right? So why did I take this trade? Well, again, it all started with the currency strength meter over here. You can see I was looking at the H4 time frame, and the Australian dollar is green and the franc is red, right? Which means I, I want to uh, sell the franc and buy the Australian dollar. So I go along the Aussie franc and then I look at the lower time frame, which is H1, in order to take the trade, to look for the setup. So over here, you can see the setups over here, right? Um, first of all, on H4, you can see that the uh, moving averages are all aligned very nicely, all right? So the, the six is above the 18, 18 above the 50, and the candles are nicely in an uptrend. Then I scroll down to the H1 and see that same uh, moving average sequence, 6, 18, 50, all aligned in sequence. And I'm waiting for that trigger candle. So like I mentioned, that was a trigger candle, which is the bullish pin bar. So once I saw that, I placed a buy stop order just above, stop loss below and profit target there and wait it, for, wait for it to hit the profit target or the stop loss, right? So right now, this is an ongoing trade. You can see over here. Right, so this is the current uh, PNL. I've got another trade going, which is another short trade that's a bit negative right now, but uh, it can turn positive anytime. I've got another trade waiting right here. So you can see that um, this has been a pretty profitable strategy. You can see these are the recent uh, close trades I took, right? So these are the recent profits. Right, and this actually started in the month of uh, September, okay? This was a trade which I just hit the TP, uh, just took profit on New Zealand franc. This was also a buy order. Let me just show it to you. All right, there it was. So I just took profit on this one as well. Okay, so you can see um, this was, I bought it at um, 6361, thereabouts, 6361. Okay, roughly about there. Uh, stop loss was 6345. Roughly about 6345. Yep. And my profit target was 6383, roughly 6383. Almost there. Right, so this this one I was lucky, right? It hit my profit target just nicely, and then I took profit over here and just came down, right? So for this particular, uh, particular trade, you can see that um, my end my entry. Let me see if I can recall where my entry was. Um, yep, this was the one, right? So this is a bullish pin bar over here. Okay. So I saw, oh, sorry, I didn't enter there. I remember where I entered right now. Give me a sec. Let me just make it bigger. Okay, yeah. Now I remember, I entered over here, right? This was the trigger candle because 
uh, this is a bullish engulfing candle, right? Can you see the bullish engulfing, All right? So once I saw the bullish engulfing, um, I placed my buy order above the high of the candle, three pips above, um, well, two pips plus the spread, I put my stop loss right below there, roughly about 1.5 ATR. Okay, and this was my one hour distance, and I targeted 1.4 R as well for this one. I was not that greedy. Okay, so initially you can see when I first uh, got in, right, it triggered my order here. It went out initially, it almost hit my stop loss, and then boom, it hit my profit target, right? So it ain't over till it's over. It ain't over till a fat lady sinks. Sometimes you can get a trade, almost hits the stop loss, and hits the TP, you're in. Sometimes you get in the trade, it almost hits the TP, hits your stop loss, and that's life. So don't worry about how it gets there, right? Don't worry about the journey, just uh, it either TP or SL. All right, so this was a, a nice winning trade, which I took just uh, today, just a couple of hours ago, right? So again, this was on New Zealand franc, and again, how did I find this? Again, the currency strength meter. Um, you can see New Zealand was green and Frank was red, right? And I saw it on the H for time frame. So buy New Zealand, sell Frank, long New Zealand Frank. I went to the lower time frame on H1 to look for the setup. And there was a setup over here. The nice bullish engulfing pattern, uh, buy order, stop loss, and hit my profit target. So there we go. So that's how you place a long trade for the trend rider strategy. All right, so you can see that the trade just hit the profit target. It was going down initially and now it has hit the uh, TP, so another winning trade for the day. All right, so with this take profit over here, you can see Aussie Frank uh, was the TP, we hit the TP over here. And I just had a losing trade as well. So again, we're gonna have winning trades and losing trades as long as our winning trades exceed our losing trades. Uh, will be profitable in the long run, right? And for today, I had two winning trades and a losing trade over here, all right? And for the, uh, this is just, uh, let me see, this is the 9th of September, just beginning the month. And you can see that for the month of September, um, so you can see for the month of uh, September, roughly up about eight hour. Uh, for the first uh, nine days. So let's hopefully uh, we can end the month positive for this month as well. So if you want to be the first to get my next video on YouTube, do click the subscribe button right now. If you want to check out my online courses, go on to piranaprofits.com where you can enroll in our professional Forex, stock trading, options trading, and value momentum investing courses where you're going to learn how to trade like a professional and generate an income anywhere in the world. If you would like to come to Singapore to attend my live classes, Wealth Academy, go on to wealthacademyglobal.com. It's Adam Koo and may the markets be with you.